packs have a bunch of books in it and head up Stadium Road to, uh, to Turlington and uh, go to the rest of the classes. That's right, but if you hang a quick laugh before you get to Turlington Office Stadium, you get to OSL, the Office of Student Life, where a lot of the student athletes go to get help with their classwork, do some homework between classes. But a couple weeks ago, the speaking specialist came to help them represent themselves in a great way to the media. That was one of our goals for the day. The running game was working. We focused on one team at a time. I mean, it's always good to shoot the ball well. That's what it's all about, having that confidence. UF athletes are interviewed all the time. That comes with the territory when you're at one of the top athletic programs in the country. But for some athletes, doing interviews is scary. Wouldn't you be a little intimidated in this situation? That's where Sue Castorino and Randy Minkoff come in. They travel the country helping athletes with speaking, interviewing, and social media. We have been to over 200 colleges and universities and work with professional teams and with Olympians. The speaking specialists paid a visit to Florida to help the Gators with their communication skills. We want them to be confident, want them to be comfortable, and to be articulate. Randy and Sue spent two full days teaching sessions to different groups of student athletes from entire teams to small groups. The Gators were grateful for the help, especially the women's tennis players. They've been asked to do a lot more interviews since winning a national title. I think it's really nice since like people are like asking us questions, people are, like interviewing us, and they just like want to know like a lot about us. So it's really cool that we get that attention, but it's like better if we know how to respond to it. With almost all athletes having a Facebook or Twitter these days, Randy and Sue taught the Gators how to use social media in a positive way. We tell them many times everything that comes out of their mouth, everything that comes off their fingers, that is public, it's not private. And we don't want that all to be negative. We want them to know that that can help them uh, with jobs, down the line, after college, or certainly um, more exposure for themselves and their team. Even when I was in high school, I know that, oh, college coaches are gonna look at this, they're seeing what I'm doing, and it's just a continuous thing. Like now they're in college, oh, people who I may potentially work for can look at the stuff on here as well. The teams learn ways to respond when a reporter asks a question about an opposing team, so it doesn't end up as bulletin board material. We should talk about us more and try to find a way to bring the topic back towards us and the tennis team and the University of Florida I think was very helpful because I never really thought about that before. Thinking about that when you're talking and instead of talking about other schools and, and then focusing on us, you know, it gives more information about you and it's more personal, so I think that's better. With help from the speaking specialists, the Gators are on the road to being as great at interviews as they are at their sport. For Gator Zone, I'm Heather Soltan. Well, thanks so much, Heather. And Jeff, I know when you were a freshman here playing baseball, there wasn't Twitter, Facebook, or any of the social media stuff that there is today. Yeah, you never even heard of that stuff. And since the late 90s to now 15 years later, it really is amazing how much media is all over the place. And you got to learn how to talk to these guys. And heck, you can even watch this episode of Gator Zone on your smartphone if you wanted to. So I was definitely naive, didn't know how to talk to those guys, and I was a little intimidated. But luckily for the freshmen here on campus, there's a speaking specialist, so they know how to represent themselves to the media, and they kind of know what to expect going in before their first interview. Interview. When on Florida's campus, the speaking specialists take time to sit down with both the newcomers that just arrived on campus and the upperclassmen about to leave campus after graduation. It's pretty easy to tell who is in what class at this point. What we can see a little bit of the maturity process. The freshmen tend to be a little more wide-eyed. Obviously, we're working them very early on in the year, so some of them don't even know each other very well or don't know others in the sports. So they're feeling their way, but at least they're open-minded, that's wonderful. The message they delivered to the freshman class stuck, especially with the student athletes that were called upon during class. I mostly learn about like how uh, what you say um, can really like stick in the media and you can't take back what you say, so you have to really be careful of how you answer questions. Now at a time where social media is everywhere and news is instant, the speaking specialists need to make sure the student athletes are aware of the positives and negatives of those tools. What I learned in the class, you know, whatever you post on Facebook and Twitter, you know, people can access that, so you have to definitely be careful of what you put out there. For the seniors at UF, landing a job after classes are done is the most important thing on their minds. We learned that like your introduction and how you put your foot across is like really important and um, making eye contact with the interviewer and really just telling your story about how you've gotten to this point. 
The speaking specialists make sure that each group on campus is ready for whatever is thrown their way. Whether it's a tough question about an upcoming matchup or how they would work in a certain job environment. Oh, it's, it's a great benefit, you know, it gives you a lot of practice so that, you know, you'll know how to handle, you know, yourself in interviews and, you know, you won't be overwhelmed when you get put into situations like that. So it's very helpful. If I did not have the speaking specialist, I probably would be giggling the whole time. <laughs> I think it really helps in interviews and it's, it's great to have that benefit as being an athlete. In the end, it's how they'll use these new techniques while competing in the orange and blue, and once they've left and are ready to start the next chapter of their life as a Gator.